Tempers have flared as disgruntled Holden workers met with their unions this afternoon. They're angry at plans for their salaries to be cut and voted unanimously for a plan to find other solutions. They gathered in their hundreds outside of work time and outside their Elizabeth workplace. The company said that if it's going to be inside, they want to know what the union's uh, script was going to be. We said we can't uh, give them a script in regards to what we're going to say to the workers. The employees were asked to vote on a seven-point plan to save the company without the need for pay cuts. The verdict was unanimous. All those in favour, put your hands up and let's say aye. Many became vocal and angry at the thought of making more sacrifices for the car maker. Unless they're willing to give us any security, why should we give up anything? And as for salary cuts... <laughs> no, no way. No way. The workers are prepared to do reasonable things to ensure the viability of the company, but we think it's unfair when they expect the workers to bear all the burden and aren't prepared to do something themselves. The frustration and uncertainty is so widespread that a quarter of the workforce has applied for voluntary redundancies. The company has notified 400 people that if they want to go, they can leave on the 26th of July. From that point, 1,700 workers will remain. I hope they can come up with something to keep us alive, because most of us love working here. For the very latest now, we go straight to Ben Avery at Elizabeth. Ben, where to now for these workers? Well, Kate, an independent review is now underway into Holden's books and that's going to wrap up at the end of this month. Now, just days after that, on August the 8th, workers will have to decide whether or not to accept any changes to their pay and conditions. And, Kate, I can tell you the ones I've spoken to here today have told me that they'll be definitely voting no.